All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't really fully realize exactly what this unit was when it was revealed in the uh, producer's letter last night, right? Like I thought for some reason it was just gonna be another Super Saiyan Youth Gohan with Goku like appearing behind him every time he did the Kamehameha. But instead, it's actually a Goku and Gohan like fighting together card. It's an original concept for Dokkan that didn't exist in the anime, which is really cool. It's not something that we haven't seen before, but it's fairly uncommon, I would say. And I don't know if we've ever seen a summonable unit quite like this. Like there are the free to play ones, um, Grandpa Gohan and Pan, for example, and so on and so forth. But yeah, I don't know if there was ever a summonable what if unit like this in the past. I could be wrong. Feel free to let me know in the comments if we did get one before. But uh, nonetheless, very, very cool. Dokkan original, what if LR Gohan and Goku is coming for part two of the Golden Week celebration. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be breaking down all of their details as well as taking a look at their animations. So with that said, let's jump right into it, starting here with the animations first. Let me just uh, pause my music real quick. And here we go, guys. I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I was very close to saying, yo, these animations are kind of lame. Um, because honestly, the 12 key super and the 18 key super really did not do it for me. Um, they seem very. It's like an old school style. It's like what we're used to from maybe a couple years ago. But for like a new LR these days, I feel like this 12 and 18 key doesn't really hold up to more, the more recent um, animations, right? But the active skill, I think, definitely makes up for it quite a bit. Um, that active skill animation is glorious. It's, it's super wholesome. Um, I love it. I love it. So active skill, amazing. 12 and 18 key supers, yeah, not, not my favorite, I gotta be honest, but uh, overall, not bad, not bad, um, once again, the active skill definitely carries this unit as far as animations go, but from there, let's pop over to the actual unit details, so uh, let me just turn the music back on, and there we go, okay, so it's a super tech LR, Universe, Shaking Strike, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan Youth Gohan. And their leader skill is uh, Goku's Family, Category Key Plus, or sorry, Goku's Family or Kamehameha, Category Key Plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%. So that is a little bit um, unfortunate because I feel like we're just used to having 170% leader skills at this point. We're I mean, a lot of, like, Dokkan Fest units these days have 200% leader skills, right? So, um, yeah, 150%, kind of low by today's standards. I think 170 would have been, would have made more sense, but it is what it is. And uh, from there, we have the passive, which is, hold on, let me just, uh, let me just zoom in here for you guys real quick. Okay, so passive is attack plus 59% and defense plus 58% plus an additional 
attack, defense, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 59% and defense plus 58% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 59% and defense plus 58% if it is an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained, launches an additional super attack within the turn in which the character's active skill is activated or when key is 20 or more. Okay, so this unit is an absolute uh, juggernaut, man. I mean, they are going to be putting up massive numbers, both offensively and defensively. I think on defense, they'll be um, really good, maybe not like off the charts tanky, but they'll have some very, very good defense. And offensively, like their damage is uh, is going to be insane. Um, I mean, you got the 59% attack and then another 59% attack for the regular super, another 59% attack for the ultra super, 5% more attack for every single key sphere obtained, then also 5% more crit chance, so they're going to be critting quite a bit, and uh, the additional super attack as well for having 20 or more key, which is going to be really easy to get because... Uh, they get the extra key for every key sphere obtained, right? So 18 key supers, 20 key supers, 24 key supers will be very, very common for this unit. So um, you're going to be seeing double supers almost all the time, almost every turn. And then if you have some hidden potential investment, then you could potentially see a third super, right? So um, yeah, the point is they're going to hit super, super, super hard. Uh, respectable defense. Like I said, it's not going to be anything crazy off the charts, I don't think, but um, should be good enough for, you know, most events in the game, and uh, yeah, yeah, they're they're going to be really good. <laughs> they're going to be really, really good. Now, uh, taking a look at some of the other details here, uh, let's see, so for their links, they have uh, Golden Warrior, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And next page here, their categories are Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Joint Forces, Super Saiyans, Android Slash Cell Saga, and Bond of Master and Disciple. And then for their active skill, the full power father-son Kamehameha, the active skill condition is that it can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 59% or less starting from the fifth turn from start of battle or when HP is 58% or more, starting from the 7th turn from start of battle, once only. So unfortunately, it's not going to be an active skill you see too often in Super Battle Road or kind of short to medium length events like that, but uh, when it comes to like, you know, uh, Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Vegeta event, and stuff like that, um, you'll definitely be able to use it at some point, right? And the active skill effect is massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and within the turn activated, all attacks become critical hits. And remember, on the turn that you use the uh, the active skill, you also get the guaranteed additional super attack. So, um, yeah, that turn, I mean, as hard as this, as this unit hits, he's going to be hitting extra, extra hard because you got the damage from the active skill, you got the double supers guaranteed, you got the crits for every single super attack, um, that's just gonna be like a crazy, crazy turn offensively, right? And lastly, we have the info for the super attacks. Okay, so for the 12 key super, raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and then for the 18 key super, it is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is all you need to know about the upcoming What If Original Dokkan uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Youth Gohan. I think it's a great concept. I think, um, you know, Dokkan should definitely do more stuff like this just to uh, change things up, make things more interesting. Because, you know, at this point, we've seen a lot of like the same characters, the same type of like archetypes from the, the anime, the manga, right? But if they can continue making uh, unique 
concepts and unique units like this, then Dokkan will definitely have a much more uh, longer shelf life or have just more staying power overall, right? So, um, yeah, I think this is cool. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it, how you guys feel about an original unit like this, and uh, also just what you think about the unit as a whole. Do you think um, it's something that you would, you know, go for? Are you going to be summoning? If so, how many stones do you plan to spend? And uh, you guys know, your boy's definitely going to be summoning. So stay tuned for the summoning video slash videos coming in the near future. And uh, that's it, guys. That's going to do it for today. That's going to do it for me, as always. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the Tim video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.